Hi guys, so um, if you saw my vlog on my second channel, you know I'm super excited about these spiderweb lashes. So I had to create a look around them, and that's what I'm going to show you today. Here's me just modeling stuff. There we go. Starting the, the video. I feel like voiceovers are so weird. There's my primer, Smashbox. And it is just a sample of the Smashbox primer because it's pretty expensive for me anyway. It's like 35, I'm not sure. And blue contacts. And watch me fumble around with blue contacts for a while. Um, I get the first one in, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go, got that one. And then the other one kind of just flops out, yeah, just flopped out. Yep, there we go. Yay! And now some pro, uh, LA Girl <laughs> Pro Concealer in green. And this is just to color correct any redness on my face. And now on to the Skin Tone Concealer. As you can see, I love LA Girl Pro Concealer. It's really good. And I like that it has like a brush end that you just squeeze through. That's really nice. Um, but anyway, there we go, concealer. So I kind of just put it over where the green was and around my cheeks, because I have some um, irritation, I think, around my cheeks, or just like redness that um, I'd rather even out with the skin colored one than the green one. And now True Match L'Oreal in porcelain. And yep, there's the top. I'm gonna show you the top to porcelain. There we go. And my foundation brush, which I believe is Eco Tools. All over the face. I recently went back to the brush because I was using um, like a wet blender for the longest time. And now blush. Um, I just use any matte eyeshadow that I feel like using that day. As you can see, I hit the pan with the one I'm using right now. It is like my go-to. But sometimes I'll use a um, more warmer uh, blush as well. And uh, contour. Again, just um, another random uh, eyeshadow that I choose that day. Occasionally I go lighter brown or more gray. And here is my favorite brush, which is a Wet n Wild flat brush. Up oh, and truck going by. But hopefully, hopefully, I can edit that. Anyway, blending all of that out. Uh, da -da, my cheeks and my jaw area, and I also started um, contouring my nose as well, which I didn't do here, but I've been starting that. And now, um, Celestial Goddess Dew Drops, which is like a liquid illuminator. So this will go on the foundation, and then um, I'll have a powder highlight to go over this later. I am obsessed with these Dew Drops. I love them so much as like a base for my powder highlights. I feel like it just intensifies it, and you can wear them alone. Like, it looks good here too. Um, so I uh, highlight my cheeks and Cupid's bow, nose, I think above, yeah, the eyes. And now um, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, just to go on my waterline and to prime my eyelid. And now Super White Benai Powder. This is my favorite powder of all time. It like really just makes you real nice and pale. Sorry if you can hear some like car stuff going on outside, just out of my control. It's happening like all day. Anyway, look at that powder, look at that. And now just a fluffy brush to like buff away excess because I kind of go just, I just plop it on my face and now here we're buffering it out. And now some black eyeshadow to draw on my eyebrows. So I'm using the shadow just to sketch them out because it's really easy to clean up 
mistakes if I use shadow first. And don't worry if they seem off or, you know, just too big or uneven. I'm going to go in and um, fix them with some concealer now. So just fixing underneath because I made them a little too big. I was going for a sleeker look and kind of failed. So now I'm fixing them. Sometimes I see these like makeup artists that just seem to like put it on so easily. And I'm like, how do you... Do these delicate things and now some milk over that just to like diffuse the black because okay so I'm basically just trying to like cover the black as much as possible because I don't want to actually use makeup remover because that would just be so much of a hassle it would mess up the brows that I already have fixed that I want to lay there and it would just pick up all the makeup that I already have on so yeah I'm just trying to um, cover that up as much as possible and now some concealer, again, over the white, just to make it even more covered. And now some Baby Bat Beauty eyeliner to uh, fill in my brows. I'll be using this tiny little teensy brush Tiny, tiny brush. And now some red eyeshadow. So this will go um, over the crease and you kind of want to um, wing the edge of it. Oh, I noticed something on my face that I have to fix. There we go. And um, on the other side as well. So see, I'm kind of just like bringing it up, like winging that up, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna go for like more of a cut crease look. I've been playing around with that. And now some black over that, um, just to give it more dimension. Uh, not too much, because black, you know, a little black can go a long way. Oh my God, motorcycles. I wanna kill every motorcyclist that goes by my place at all times. There's this one guy that goes by on a quad I want to shoot him so badly. Anyway, uh, now some concealer to clean up underneath to uh, get more of that cut crease look. Anywho, back to the quad guy. He does wheelies around the block, which I don't even know why you're why are you driving a quad. There is no there's no mountainous ruralness around here. Some white shadow to uh, uh, cover the lid. I want to put down a nice uh, white base. Just, you know, I don't have anything planned out for what I'm saying. I'm just like talking as I'm watching the video right now. So if you hear some weirdness of like, so what, uh, what's going on? That's why. Wow, it's just like every loud thing in the universe wants to go by today. That's cool. That's, that's cool. Awesome. I don't even know what that is. Is that a plane? that and now I'm just like blending it a bit more there we go now some red and black underneath the eye
And now some white just to go uh, underneath the eyebrow to highlight that. And now just a little um, crayon liner or a pencil liner or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what to call the twisty ones. I call them crayon liners since it's not really a pencil. I don't know. Anywho, now I'm just blending that out with a Q-tip. And now for one of my favorite things ever is highlighting and I will use, be using Baby Bat Beauty highlighter in Starlight. Now I'm just using this little mini fan brush to apply it. I really love this highlight combo so much and now I'm just buffing away excess and there we go. You can't really see it too well with this lighting. It looks better and more like natural lighting than this harsh um, sort of ring light. Next is a marker eyeliner from Wet n Wild to make a wing tip. Pretty simple, standard stuff. Next is a liquid eyeliner just to clean up the edges of that. Also wet and wild. Now just some black, oh, oh, I messed up there. You see that, you see that? I gotta take the time to fix that. Oh, I fixed it. And now um, black eyeliner to create the lovely spiderweb wing look. There we go. So I'm just using a really, really tiny, um, I believe it's a paintbrush and dipping it in a uh, liquid eyeliner and creating this lovely spiderweb look. Dry that off with a fan. And now uh, glitter from Wet n Wild. This is brass, I believe it's called. And um, it's, I like the color so much, but it just, it moves around it doesn't stay in place too well. So I don't put this on video, but um, or I don't film this part, but I also put yellow eyeshadow over it and it kind of turns it into a really cool gold. So um, turned out good, I guess. Um, it was just moving around too much and I felt eyeshadow would help it move around less, but I didn't have a color that was exactly brass, I suppose, so I just went with gold, or yellow to create a gold, rather. Now on to the main event, these lovely spiderweb lashes. Oh, I love them so much. I have um, two other pairs that are Halloween themed and I cannot wait to use them. And here's the lashes up close because I just wanted to show off more video of them and um, as well as the finished product but mainly focusing on these lashes I just wanted to insert this little clip. I really love how they look. And there's the yellow eyeshadow I used and now I'm going to use a prestige white eyeliner to put on my bottom lashes.
And now I'm just adding a little spider detail. Now I'm just lining my lips with a uh, crayon liner. And using Immortal to fill them in by Baby Bat Beauty. And now we are done. And there's the finished look. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.